Now, let's see the third kind of microorganism. These are something called algae. You pronounce it as algae. Algae are, instead of being a microorganism, you know, these are simple plants. Which could be small, as small as a microorganism, or these could be big. An example is a chlorella. The fourth category is a fungi. Okay? Fungi is, you know, again a microorganism. What is unique about them is that they lack chlorophyll. Okay? And they feed on decayed matter. Now what happens is, you must have seen many a times, you know, there are leaves which fall off from tree. Over a period of time, if you see, if these leaves are lying like this, they kind of start getting brownish and at times gets eaten up at places. So that's what something is done by fungi. You must have heard very oftenly at your home also that, you know, this thing is called fungi. Now these both algae and fungi can be larger in shape than a microorganism and they can be small or they can be even large. And the last one is virus. Now virus is something which all of us would have heard. Okay. Virus are extremely small, very small. Okay. And normally these are something which you would have heard as associated with various kinds of disease. Okay. Virus, the quality that they have is that they reproduce very fast. So they double themselves extremely quickly. So when let's say someone has cold, you know, people are told to stay away from people who have cold because when they sneeze, the virus that they carry for this disease is expected to pass on from one person to the other. And if that happens, then the other is also likely to cause a sneezing. So all that is because of the fact that the virus spread and they reproduce themselves very fast. So it's not that one, if you got two viruses, they're going to remain like that. Okay?